would succeed. This is very impressive. Scott O'Kell, to you in Los Angeles. <laughs> I look like I bought my clothes at Canadian Tire next to this guy. I'll tell you that. <laughs> the, the urban Sasquatch are just finishing up a men's league game against the bottom feeders here. you got to go long and far to beat names like that. I don't think the bottom feeders who are leading 3 nothing are drafting a goaltender, Kevin, so oh. relax. Oh. Listen, Glenn Healy was just making the point about players ramping it up, coming home from the Olympics. Do you think Drew Doughty has done that for the Los Angeles Kings because the young fellow was front and center in Vancouver? Without question. You couldn't have said it better. Take a look at this. This is why he's a 200-foot player. Oops, see you later. Oops, see you later. Takes the puck in transition. Didn't see anybody available. Takes it himself all the way around the net and spots Brad Richardson for this beautiful feed coast to coast. Take a look at the hockey sense here. This read, he goes right down to the back post. That's a heads-up play. Sidney Crosby's Zach Parisi are the types of guys that make those plays. This guy's been absolutely fantastic. It's going to be a while before Mike Camilleri comes back for the Montreal Canadiens. So in the interim, Brian Giantis, Scott Gomez expected to lead the Habs. What's your assessment? Well, these two have a lot of chemistry since they play together in New Jersey. Everybody knows that Gomez was brought here to play with Gianta and vice versa. But they've made some nice plays together. Gomez is a pass-first guy. Gianta plays very big. He goes to the net very well. Gets a lot of tips and deflections in front of the opposing goalies. Canadians lost in San Jose a couple nights ago. Ron Carey Price was strong, but it looks like it's going to be Yaroslav Halak in goal tonight against Jonathan Quick.